What's going on guys and welcome back to another video and welcome to beautiful Inglewood, Florida. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I have never in my entire content creation journey seen as many comments about an inanimate object as what we've gotten on this dude right here. And finally, finally guys, we are gonna tell you guys exactly why we brought the bed extender on this seven day journey all around Florida. Let's head inside and I'll show you guys. All right folks, so that's why we're here. That's why we've had the bed extender on the truck. You guys have been asking this whole trip. Why do you have the bed extender? You don't have a kayak with you. You don't have anything on the bed extender. Well, this is why we are here to pick up our rig for the 2023 season here at Waterways in Inglewood, Florida. Now we're gonna tell you guys more about this store here in a little bit, but I wanna go back first, because if you guys remember, we were up in Asheville about two or three weeks ago, and I told you guys I was up there on business, and that was true. I stopped at the Waterways store there to meet with my rep from Feel Free Kayaks, because Waterways is a Feel Free Kayak dealership. We worked out a deal, set up a new rig for the 2023 season, and I was like, I'll take it. And they were like, hey, your kayak is all the way down in Inglewood, Florida. And I was like, hey, that works out because I'm getting ready to take a seven day road trip. I'm gonna be passing right by Inglewood, Florida and I would love to see the place. So here we are. So we're going to be saying goodbye to our Seastream kayak. Now we're not giving it back. This is just one that they have in the store. We still have the Seastream kayak at the house, but from this point forward, we're gonna be fishing out of a new boat. We're gonna get her loaded up. All right, y'all. And the real reason I'm here, there she is. That is the new kayak for the 2023 season. Now y'all have to wait till I get back to Pensacola for me to show you what it is, but that is what's up. And this is Sam, y'all. This is the, he runs the waterway store here in Inglewood, Florida. He will be taking care of you. One of the biggest questions I got last year with, I, I've completely caught Sam off guard. He did not know I was gonna come over with a camera. One of the biggest questions I got asked last year when I started working with Feel Free Kayaks is, can I only buy it online? And honestly, my answer last year was yes, but that's not true anymore no. because you guys have the waterway stores. You guys have three of them here, Austin and Nashville, correct? Yes, sir. But this is by far the coolest one I've seen. Like <laughs> the, the scenery outside, I'm rolling a clip right now of what the side of the building looks like. You guys saw the front of the building when I rolled in this morning. You guys have got a cool spot here, man. Oh my gosh, I love it. I mean, not just the store, but also the nearby surroundings. Englewood is a darling location. Between the people, the food, the live music, and everything else, it's hard not to have a good time down here. Guys, Another dish, if you don't have any other reason at all to come, come for Mabel, right Mabel? Say, say, come see Mabel. If nothing else, come to the waterways in Inglewood, Florida to see Mabel because she's in jail right now, but uh, she's been awesome all morning. She's looking for, for Sam for sure. She's trying to figure out why I'm, not in, or why I'm in here without him. He's still out there, I promise. We are so excited to be working with Feel Free again for the 2023 season. They have been an amazing partner to the channel ever since you guys have seen them come on board. Again, not sponsored videos. We're not doing sponsored videos anymore in 2023. You guys know that they are strictly a partner of the channel. They provide me with a kayak. I provide them with a little bit of publicity, but they got something for y'all this year because going back to what I was talking to Sam about earlier, if you guys come into the store and use the code CMR10, they're gonna give you 10% off anything in the store. You can use that 10% off in store. If you walk into the Inglewood store right now and you say you wanna use the code CMR10, they're gonna give you 10% off anything that you purchase in the store. Including a kayak, right, Sam? Yes, sir. They can use that on kayaks too, right? So if you come in and you buy whatever kayak that they have and you give them the code CMR10, they're going to give you 10% off. Pretty sure that's the same for the Asheville store. Not sure about the Austin store. I'll have to check with my contact on that, but definitely the Asheville store and the Inglewood store, you can get that discount. So you guys head on over to Waterways in Inglewood, Florida. If you're not even, look, you don't have to be buying a kayak. If you already have a kayak, these guys have got everything. Fish bags, rail blazer life jackets like i'm just looking around at all the stuff they've got dry bags they've got paddles they've got apparel anything and everything that you could possibly need for your kayak if you are in the south central florida area or heck if you're just anywhere make the trip down here this store is a cool place just to come visit i just want to stress that feel free has got a kayak for every outdoorsman and every budget it doesn't matter whether you're trying to fish or whether you're just doing recreational or whether you're just doing it for exercise like the speed they've got sit-ins they've got sit on tops They've got tandems, anything and everything that you can ask for in a kayak they have. And I'm going to tell you all right now, I saw this right here and this thing is awesome. This is called a little Johnny and I think it's called a, you know, it's called a Johnny boat, but it's a 10 foot bass boat. It's got the stand up rail on it. Super stable, super deep hull. They've just got so much stuff that revolves around outdoors and fishing. Make sure if you can't make it into a store, make sure you go out and check them out. Yeah. 
and then you... what we'll probably have to do is turn it at an angle all right y'all let's head to pensacola all right y'all we have made it back to pensacola with the new rig for the 2023 fishing season from Feel Free Kayaks. Y'all, this is the Dorado 125. Now, before we get into an in-depth review on it, I took it out on the water as soon as I got home. Didn't waste no time. Went straight out and put a line on the water. Y'all check it out. There we go. Guys, first cast on the new kayak. <laughs> Literally the first cast <laughs> yeah, I we're gonna land a fish. I'll check it out right there. Gonna be actually a keeper speckled trout, y'all. I don't have a board with me today. That's definitely gonna be a keeper trout right there. Oh, and he came off right there. That worked out perfect. Keeper speckled trout. <laughs> Literally the very first cast from the new kayak, guys and landed a nice little speckled trout, probably about 16 inches. I don't have to actually have a measuring board on here with me, but we'll uh, we'll get one put on here. We're still working on getting it rigged out, but let's get this dude back. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> That's the way it's supposed to work. You go out, you pick your new kayak up from Feel Free Kayaks and come out and you throw a little white curly tail and you stick a speckled trout, see if we can't catch another one. There we go, there's a fish on. Oh, guys, these are trout. I would have, no, that's a redfish. No way, guys. I was 100% sure we were either dealing with little mangrove snapper or pinfish, but these are little rat reds. Now, I don't know if that's what's been eating it all, but definitely what that dude is right there. Y'all check him out. <laughs> nice, pretty little redfish. Not sure if that's what's been eating it or not, but nice little fish let's get that dude back thank you buddy it was pretty cool to catch fish on the very first cast on this kayak i'm not gonna lie to y'all and that was legit like caught that speckled trout literally on the very first cast now a couple news and notes that i want to talk about on this kayak first and foremost this is feel free's like top of the line most premium kayak that they make um and i know that everybody has a different budget for kayaks and I want to stress to you guys that Feel Free offers a wide, wide range of kayaks for all different budgets. Whether you want to pedal drive, whether you want to motor drive in it, whether you want just a paddle kayak, whether you want to sit in. They're, they have kayaks ranging all the way from like 400 bucks up to like $31.99, which is what this guy runs at. The reason I took this one this year, I have never fished out of a premium kayak, like a true premium kayak kayak so i wanted to fish out of one this year um and this thing is absolutely amazing y'all first and foremost the first thing i want to show y'all is this seat so feel free has kind of like crushed the market on their seat if i'm being honest with you guys this is called the gravity seat this thing has multiple different levels where you can sit it up at i put mine up in the highest level this boat is 37 inches wide so this is a rather high seat position, but for me, where I'm bigger, one of my only issues that I ever had with the Seastream kayak that I got from Feel Free last year um, was the fact that it sat so low to the ground. It was really tough for me to sit in it, kind of hurt my back, and a lot of that's just because I'm, I'm a bigger dude. I get that. But with this seat, there was never a time out on the water last night when I did not feel comfortable whatsoever. This one does have the overdrive pedal drive system, and... This thing has got one of the coolest features I've ever seen in my entire life. You can actually pop a motor into this right here where this goes. I think this is just like a little container or something like that with that. But you can put a motor in this. It disengages the pedal drive and you have motor power. You got an awesome battery box right here back in the back showing you guys a little clip of that. You got a couple switches right here because this is pre-wired on your kayak. You've got LED lights built in. When you hook these up, there is LED lights built into the deck of this boat. And I can't wait to show you guys that in a future video. You've got plenty of dry storage up here in the front for what you need. It has a drop down transducer mount. So you pull this right here, it's gonna drop your transducer down in the water when you're on a spot or when you're looking for a spot and when you're running, you can pull that right back up just like that. And you're not gonna get that drag. You've got plenty of storage back here in the back. 
Um, this boat in full length is 12 foot 10 inches long. So this is a big boat. Weighs 124 pounds without the pedal drive system. So it is definitely, it's a big boy boat. I mean, there's no doubt. It's a little tough to get down to the water. Now, one of the cool things that they do add to these is right back here by the beaver tail rudder, they do have this wheel. Now, the one thing I'll tell you about this, it is super convenient for when you're pulling it. It does let your kayak rock from side to side a little bit. So you really want to make sure that you have got all your stuff centered in your kayak almost perfectly so your kayak doesn't tilt back and forth. I recommend if you're trying to get this thing to the water by yourself at a boat ramp, something like that, get the kayak down there fully unloaded. The battery box comes right out. You guys can see right here, this battery box, <laughs> you raise that handle, lift that straight up, and your battery is now out of the box. And then you lock it back into place, just like that right there. Like there is so much about this kayak that I just absolutely love. Like I don't even know where to start. I, I have the motor for it. Um, that's probably going to be, I'm gonna do like a little re mini review on the kayak in that next video where we pop the motor in here. It's all hand controlled. And the nice thing about it is when you, let's say you're going offshore or you're running out to a spot, I would say treat it more like an outboard motor, like on your on the Mako. I use the big motor to get to where I'm going, and then I use the trolley motor to kind of move around that area so I don't disturb the fish. That motor is a little bit loud, but just because of the way it gears up on this pedal drive, it just kind of has to be. So it's not that big of a deal, but it is a little bit of a louder motor. But once you get to where you're going, so like if I'm running all the way back to the back of Bayou Chico, I can just engage my motor, kind of chill out, get back there, and then once I get back there, all you have to do, this is this is so important, and I'll show you guys when we actually put the motor in there. You pop that motor out, you don't have to take it all the way out. It disengages and it only moves out about an inch, but it still sits in this seat where the motor goes. Once you do that, your pedals re-engage and you're able to pedal your kayak again freely without the motor. So you're able to move around nice, quiet, and get where you're going, get on a spot and stay there. So overall guys i am so so happy with this kayak now i know people are going to raise the question you know this i can't i can't do a kayak like this you don't have to they have a range of kayaks that has the gravity seat that has the pedal drive they've got the lure which is probably one of their i would guess one of their most sold kayaks overall because it's kind of that middle of the road it's not the entry level like the sea stream was it's not like the granddaddy of everything like this is it's kind of right in the middle of the road it comes with the pedal drive you can put the motor in it now i will tell you guys the motor is an additional cost i'm not sure exactly what the motor runs i don't want to get into price specifications because i just don't know but i do know for a fact that um, you have to buy the motor separately the pedal drive comes with the kayaks most of them if they are a pedal driven kayak um, and these are big boy kayaks, man. Like you guys saw, I was actually able to stand up in this kayak, did not feel like it was gonna waver on me at all. Like I was so impressed. It's got four built-in rod holders back here in the back. Those things are going to be awesome for anything and everything that you wanna throw in them. They're good for trolling, they're good for just letting your rods rest. One thing I do wanna to, want to address, and this is not a, like a downfall, but this is not an industry standard gear track what feel free has done is they've designed these mounting plates so you don't have to drill holes into your kayak you put these mounting plates in your gear track you can put anything on those rod holders line cleats paddle holders whatever you're adding to your kayak anyways you just buy those little mounting plates they're super easy to move around and it's so convenient to put it somewhere else so like let's say you put your uh, rod holder on there and you don't really like where it's at well if you had done that before and you had mounted it to the side of your kayak if you moved it you're gonna have four holes that you're gonna have to fill in you drilled into your hole now you don't have to do that you can just move these mounting plates around from spot to spot figure out where you want them and then once you once they're there they're locked in they're not going anywhere if you ever do need to make a change later on you can certainly do that I know this is gonna sound crazy but one of my favorite things about this kayak is these storage compartments right here. I'm showing you guys a little video of that where I can just kind of toss lures, baits, things like that. That was one of my biggest pet peeves with every kayak I've ever owned. The Sea Stream, the Native, the Jackson, all of the kayaks that I've sat in before this one, I've never had like this side compartmental storage. And you wouldn't think it'd be that big of a deal, but if you're out on the water and you take a lure off real quick and you need to toss it somewhere, nine times out of 10 ends up your floorboard, which in turn ends up back under your seat. You can't get to it if you wanna get it back. It ends up getting in your foot, in your bag, whatever you've got on here, it ends up getting tied up in that stuff and it's just kind of a pain in the butt. This does come with a standard paddle holder over here on the side. Like, I, 
I'll be honest with you guys. Like, anytime I do a review on a product, I legitimately try to find something wrong with it. I really do because I don't want to make it seem like, you know, I'm I'm saying it because they gave me the kayak. They did give me this kayak. I don't want to make it sound like that, it, you know, I paid for this kayak. I did not. They gave me this kayak to review for them um, and to fish out of for the 2023 season. But with that being said, I really found nothing wrong with this kayak when I was on the water. Now, that might change a couple times out. I'm not saying I d it won't, but so far, there was nothing about this kayak I didn't like. Back on the back, they changed it. This is the version two of this. So they did have a Dorado all the way up until, I guess last year's when they kind of revamped this. It used to have navigation lights on the front of it. They took those off, but they did raise the bow of this boat up to where it is made for more surf worthy waters. I don't, I don't know if that's a word, surf worthy, but like it's made to take on like little rolling waves and stuff like that. They redid the handle system in the back. They did just have that molded handle before. Now they've got these two handle grips, which makes this thing much easier to move around if you've got somebody helping you. And again, if you don't have somebody helping you, either get yourself a really good cart um, because that's going to be the best thing to do, honestly. Or you can grab the nose of this kayak, roll it back onto that wheel, and you're going to see real quick that everything works perfectly fine just rolling that wheel along. Like most of the places that I launch, I launch from a boat ramp, so it's not a big deal. Now I would tell you that if you did try to pull this on the beach with that wheel, it's not gonna do much for you. That's not gonna do anything in sand. Um, I just, I can't see it being of any benefit whatsoever if you're trying to pull it through sand. You need a beach cart or something like that for that because that thing's not gonna help you out in the sand. Um, it does have the eight ball shifter, which Feel Free is famous for right here, showing you guys a little clip of that right there. That controls your beaver tail rudder back here in the back. The beaver tail rudder is definitely one of the best rudders in the industry, bar none. This thing turns on a dime, um, and that was one of the first things I noticed is how quick it turns. A big difference between this boat and the Sea Stream that you guys saw me fishing out of last year. The Sea Stream had the same beaver tail rudder system on it, which it made it turn lightning quick. For me, a lot of times, it almost felt too quick. And I know that's crazy, but if I was moving through the water pretty good and I like slammed that thing to the left or to the right, it almost felt like I was going to roll the kayak because that beaver tail catches so fast and starts turning the boat. Never got this sensation with this. This thing is built almost like a tri-hole. I'm kind of showing you guys an under underneath view of it right now. That it's basically built like a cat hole, so to speak. I mean, it's definitely not, but it's it's a tri tune underneath it. There, there's three different levels, so you've got your two outside stabilizers that almost work like um, the outriggers that you see some people put on on bigger kayaks. I will tell you guys, when I stood up in this out there and I was kind of rocking back and forth, you could feel it give a little bit, and then you could tell the second that those side plates like picked up that buoyancy and you weren't going anywhere. I feel like, and I'll probably try to do this later on this summer, we'll do a stabilization test on it, and I'll take it out and try to flip it. Um, obviously not gonna do that right now because the water's pretty cold, but I feel like I could literally get up and stand all the way on one side of this boat as heavy as I am, and it would not flip. Um, we'll see about that. I'll take it out one day without the battery, without all the, the stuff, and that way it's just me and the kayak. That way if I, if I flip it, nothing's gonna get lost. But I really feel like I'm going to be able to stand all the way on one side of this boat and it's not going to turn over. Nice high sides, like I said, 37 inch wide, 12 foot 10 inches long. Um, love the color. I think I don't I don't want to get into the colors. You guys can look at them online. But like I said in the video earlier, if you guys go into the store, I'm not doing an online code this year. I'm only doing an in-store code. But if you go into the store, you're going to get 10% off any kind of feel-free kayaks, accessories, anything like that that you purchase that you buy in-store. Yeah, that's a great deal, guys. Like 10% off, you get to add enough. If you go in there and you buy a $1,500 kayak and you use a 10% off code, that's 150 bucks. So anytime we can come along and try to save you guys a little bit of money, we're always going to do that. I can't wait to get some use out of this thing. I love fishing in the Mako. I do. It's one of my favorite things, but I will tell you guys, and you know, the OGs to the channel, they're going to remember this. I started off fishing in a kayak, 10 and a half foot native Titan. I've always had a special place in my heart for fishing out of a kayak because I just, there's something special about it. I got to get this one fully rigged up. There's a couple things I want to get put on here, but y'all, I can't wait for the content that we're going to be create, creating in this boat. We got a lot of new things happening right now. New truck topper, new kayak, all kinds of stuff. I do want to let you guys know, if you're not subscribed, 
you need to subscribe to the channel. You need to turn your notification bell on because I just took a trip in the truck topper camper and it was awesome. It was probably one of the best trips I've ever taken since I've been doing content creation. Um, there's going to be three or four videos, like fishing videos that comes out, and then there's going to be one overarching video about the whole trip. So make sure you guys stay tuned in for that. As we learn more about this Dorado 125, we will certainly be sharing it with you guys. If you guys have questions about it, please leave a comment down below. Um, I have got great resources with Feel Free Kayak. So if it's a question that I don't know the answer to, I can certainly get you to answer that question real, real fast. Guys, that's all I got for you today. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. As always, make sure you find a way to make somebody smile today. It just might change the world. We can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care. We'll see you soon.